Another deadline passed, another day of frustrating talks with no deal. British Airways cabin crew will go on strike in the morning. Unite General Secretary Tony Woodley left negotiations in central London angry. And in spite of our offer that the company put last week's offer back on the table so we could consult our members, unfortunately British Airways have not been able to do that. In fact, what British Airways has done is to table an offer that is worse than the offer that they unilaterally drew from us last week. That makes it absolutely impossible for us to be able to go back to our members and rebalance them under these circumstances. BA management says it needs to modernise, and that means after a recession, pay cuts, potential job cuts and changes to working conditions. Chief Executive of BA, Willie Walsh, apologised to his customers for the inconvenience. He claims he's been open to negotiating from the start. I remain available to talk to Tony Woodley at any time with a view to reaching a sensible agreement. But our business must make changes and I'm disappointed that the union has not been able to see the sense of the proposal that we table today. The Unite Union say that the offer on the table from BA today is different to that of last week. Walsh admitted it was, but both are playing hardball. No, the deal was definitely not the same as the one that was put on the proposal Why not? Uh, table last week. We had made it clear that that proposal was withdrawn uh, following Unite's decision not to avail of the olive branch that we had given them to uh, conduct their ballot without setting dates for industrial action. Uh, I gave, at the request of Derek Simpson, an extension to their mandate for industrial action, which would have allowed them to table that proposal without this threat of industrial action. However, by setting dates for industrial action, BA has incurred significant additional expense. And I've made it clear to the trade union that that is a, an expense that must be recovered. So the financial value of the proposal that we had tabled was definitely not as attractive as the previous one. For passengers due to fly with BA over this weekend and next, this couldn't have happened at a worse time. Very frustrated, yeah. very much in limbo. We feel let down with them, really. Yeah, let down. Lack of information, we, yeah. we really feel let down with the air. Yeah, and and part of the holiday is the build up, and this build up's pretty horrendous, really, not knowing. BA is confident it can still fly 65% of its flights during industrial action, but has admitted it will cost the company around £27 million. Unless the two sides can come together and finally compromise on a deal, then next week will be four days of strikes.